We mentioned earlier that from humble beginnings, COVID-2019 has evolved into a generally accepted framework for INT governance. Before we look at the updates from COVID-5 to COVID-2019, it's vital to explain what COVID is and what it's not. Firstly, as you may have already worked out, COVID is a framework for the governance and management of enterprise information and technology. Therefore, COBIT is aimed at the whole enterprise, not just the IT department. COBIT makes a very clear distinction between governance and management. The two disciplines require different structures, activities, and serve different purposes. Governance, then, is largely about three activities. Firstly, it ensures that the stakeholders' needs and options are evaluated to identify enterprise objectives. Secondly, it sets direction through prioritization. And finally, it monitors the compliance and performance against the direction and objectives. Governance is usually the responsibility of the board of directors, though it may be delegated. Management, on the other hand, includes the following activities. Planning, building, running, and monitoring activities in alignment with the direction set by the governing body. For most enterprises, management is the responsibility of executive management. COBIT defines the components to build and sustain a governance system, as well as the design factors that influence the shape of that system so that it can be customized to suit a specific enterprise's needs. Finally, COBIT classifies governance components into governance and management objectives, and the performance of these can be managed by capability assessments.